Step number one is we want to get rid of the water. If there is water coming into a crawl space, we need to put some pumps and drainage systems. That's pretty easy to do. But if I just did that, I have not done my customer any service because I might still have 90%, 95%, 98% relative humidity levels in the summer. A lot of crawl spaces don't have concrete floors in them. They're dirt floors, that's very common. So what we're having is the soil is basically evaporating all day long. Air is moving out of that soil and that soil has moisture in it, so therefore the air has moisture in it. And that's where we're seeing a lot of the moisture come from. So we need to put a vapor barrier down on the floor to protect you from that soil or separate the soil from the house, basically. What we do is we use a product called Clean Space. It's a 20 mil thick fiber enforced antimicrobial product that we cover the floor of the crawl space with. It's a very thick material. It's like a pool liner. And we seal the seams. We go up the side walls and we caulk the top of it. Really what we're doing is we're sealing out any moisture coming from the walls, any moisture coming from the soil, separating the house or the crawl space from those damp areas. The old thinking is that they would vent crawl spaces. They knew there was a problem. The idea was that uh, we have all this dampness coming from the soil. It's got to go somewhere. Let's vent it out of the house by putting openings in the house. It doesn't make any sense that we would knock huge holes in the sides of our walls to let air out or is air coming in? And that's really what's happening. Air is coming in. Because of something called the stack effect, air is moving up through the house all year long, all the time. In fact, up to 50% of the air that you breathe upstairs comes from the crawl space. So when you have a vent in your crawl space, you're not venting at all, you're sucking air in. Now that would be okay if that was dry air, maybe if we're in Colorado or Egypt where we have bone dry air. But in this area we don't have that. We have very humid air, upwards of 90% in August. So all that moist air is coming in. We already know what that does to your house. So what we do is seal the vents, close off the vents. We wanna make sure that there's no outside air coming in. And when we do that, by the way, we're also stopping cold air or hot air in the summer. Therefore, what happens is your ductwork system works much better. It's no longer having to fight these cold temperatures or these humid warm temperatures. They become much more efficient. We're still not done because we can't seal everything. We've sealed as much as we can. We've closed the vents, sealed the walls, and we've sealed the floor. We still have higher levels of humidity down there than we like. So the last step in the process is really putting a dehumidification system in the crawl space. We've designed a special one just for crawl spaces. It kicks on and off as needed all year round, drains automatically so that we don't have to empty it. Of course, you're not gonna go down in a crawl space to empty it. it. Takes whatever little air is remaining and dries it or conditions it. And now we have beautiful, dry, warmer air in the winter and beautiful, dry, cooler air in the summer. And that's perfect for those ducks. They're gonna work much more efficiently.